There are fears Canberra could put an end to South Australia's multi-billion dollar warship building industry as they look to rescue the project. There are hopes British company BAE Industries could be a saviour, but that could cost thousands of local jobs. Taking shape, but very slowly, the Air Warfare Destroyer project is running behind schedule and over budget. The problem is largely management, so that our blue collar workforce is very skilled, I, I think they're fine. The federal government now contemplating a change in management with British shipbuilders BAE one possibility. If a new management team, be it BAE or anyone else, is needed to be put in there, let's get on with it, let's do it. The problems are there now, let's fix them. But if the problems with ASC can't be fixed, future contracts would likely be shipped offshore to save money and would cost 6,000 jobs. I want to build those eight ships out to 2035, not at any price. It's not a blank cheque. The stern warning putting the state government on edge. I'm concerned that they're actually just going through some sort of softening up exercise and they've made some decisions that aren't very helpful for South Australia. Those decisions could determine the future of shipbuilding in the state, including a further two air warfare destroyers, eight frigates and 12 submarines a 30-year contract worth $250 billion. That would be a disaster for this country. It is clear that this nation faces probably its biggest manufacturing decision since World War II. If we don't get to build the subs here and build naval ships here, it will mean the deindustrialisation of the South Australian economy. The federal government will make its decision on future projects when the Defence White Paper is released next year. Jack Paquetta, Nine News.